When you have uh, a, a control, controller sensor, which all puppets have, that is on possessable mode, then when you um, play the scene, then you're kind of orbiting around the camera. The camera is orbiting around uh, that control, that possessable object, even if it's not possessed. If it's possessed, it will orbit it. But even if it's not possessed, it will still orbit it. And if there's multiple possessed objects, it will kind of try and um, orbit around all of them, kind of thing. It's kind of like a shared default camera. But then when you use a camera pointer. It has like an actual angle, so if I do that, then it will just be powered all the time and use that angle um, and won't let you orbit around with the right stick because the you're setting that angle that the camera should be at. And then if I like make it more to the side, then now I'm more to the side. Um, that's the same for multiplayer as well. If there's multiple possessed objects, it will apply to that as well. Um, if you have more than one of these, so when you go over here you want it to be looking that way, you can actually see on the gadget it has like a little bar that goes up depending on how close it is. So if I move away, you can see it going down and if I move towards then it goes up. So it kind of blends between them depending on how close it is to the possessed object. So now it's over here but then when I go nearer to this uh, pointer, it starts to take over so now I'm locked into this side view uh, so it uses like the closest one if you want it to only power it at certain times you can just power it at certain times so if I use a trigger zone so when the puppet is in this area then we go into power that camera pointer um, and maybe we, we'll just turn that off for now. So you can do whatever you like in this area because there's no camera pointer powered. But then you go in this area and then it turns on the pointer um, to look in the right direction. So you can have that for like there's a big side on type of platforming section. And you can just lock the camera to this side view or something like that. Camera pointers don't do anything for actual camera gadgets. So if you have a powered camera gadget like that uh, the, the camera pointer doesn't really do anything to the actual camera gadgets but one thing to mention is if the camera can't see the possessed object in that moment then it will go into the normal possessed object so if I like go here and then play then if I go wander over to the side it will go back to the default view of the orbiting camera and the camera pointer will work over here and stuff like that uh, until I go back in the zone where the camera can see me and then it will lock it in again. So the camera pointer does take over when the camera isn't actually being active. The actual settings of the camera pointer, turning on sticky, uh, that lock icon there, the sticky uh, option, means that it tries to put the, the camera at that position, not just at that angle. So if that's off, then it will just stay to the side, um, but follow me left to right. But then if that's on, then it will move to that position and not follow me left to right. It will have that angle. And then it has zoom. So if I actually put this more of an angle, give this more zoom, that's like how far away the view is. Um, and I'll put it onto, I'll turn off sticky again. So that's how far away the camera is. So that's a quick way of um, giving it a different zoom level. Tilt is um, the tilt of the green thing, and the green thing adjusts just up and down like that. And then your is a rotation like that. Uh, but you, if you rotate the um, the object, then it kind of updates. And when you make a new camera pointer then the gizmo is just aligned to it perfectly so you can just um, ad adjust it like that instead of in here so this activation output sends uh, the percentage that is actually uh, being activated 
So uh, remember how they kind of blend and it shows you this uh, bar on the front showing you how close it, they are to it. Uh, it outputs that value through activation output. So you can you could do other things like turn on different sound effects when you're closer to this one, things like that. Uh, yeah, and that's the that's that. I'd like to thank Hemlock, ScheMeDBT, Evil Kimau, and all of my other supporters that make these tutorials possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.